In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to format numbers as trillions. This came about during my Watch Me Viz this week for Makeover Monday. The data set we're looking at here is GDP by county by state in the United States. And if you look at this column on the right hand side, you can see that the data is in the format of billions, uh, or, and some of the numbers go into the trillions. Let's, have an let's look at an example first. So if I filter down to just Los Angeles County, I know that's the largest one. So if I can filter down to Los Angeles County, and let's say I look at the data by year, and I just want to look at the values. Oh, let me put it on label. We can see that the data is in, in billions. So, you know, the GDP of Los Angeles in 2018 was 710 billion. But if I look at the grand total of Los Angeles, it's 10 trillion. Now, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to re represent this as 10.6 T. If we go to our default number formats, so if you right click on the field and you go down to default properties and number format, and we go into the custom number option. I can choose two decimal places, but I actually just want to choose that as one. And then in my display units, I can pick billions. And I'm going to go ahead and put a dollar sign there as my prefix. And you see I now get 10,587.5 billion. But I really want that to be formatted as trillions. OK, so let's go back into that again. And we can see that trillions is not an option in here. So how can we format something in trillions? Well, now that I have my custom number format set up, I'm going to go to this custom option. And when I'm in there, I can see that I have the letter B, which I can change to a T, obviously. But I also have this section here where I have three commas. So that's kind of the separator. There's three commas before you get to a, bil to a billion. So if I just simply add in a fourth comma on either side, the positive and the negative, and I change the B to a T, and then I hit OK, my number becomes 10.6 trillion. So uh, it's really literally is as simple as that. So now if I want to happen to look at, let's say I want to look at the data by state, and I want to say maybe the GDP for each state and I can see that everything is in the trillions, right? Nice and neat. California is 38.6 trillion over the course of time. And you can see that all of these are formatted as trillions, so 0.5 trillion. Now, if you want, you could also, you know, so now if I go into my format for the field that's actually in the view, you'll see my numbers, the default number is 0, 0.0 T. But what I could have is I could, if I want to change it back to the original, I can just go to one decimal place and make it billions. Maybe put a dollar sign in front. And now we've only affected the formatting on this particular view. Now, what if you want to have both? Well, first off, I can click on this the word numbers. You see how it's bold. If I right click on that, I can clear and that'll reset to billions. So let's set this back to a to a just a bar chart. And I'll go ahead and stick the labels on there. So it says 3.86 trillion. Well, if I format this field that's in the view, we saw earlier that if I make that billions, when I look at my tooltip, everything's in the billions, OK? Now, what I want is I want my tooltip in the billions, uh, but I want the label on the end of the bar to be trillions. So to do that, I'm going to actually duplicate the field and on this, on the copy, I'm going to change that number format back to billions. Hit OK. And if I put that copied field onto the tooltip, I can now see I have the values both as billions and trillions. So you could just get different number formats by duplicating fields. OK, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that tip and have a great day.